Hi, let's learn how to create this beautiful slide that allows you to visualize three out of the box ideas. It's surprisingly easy to create this beautiful infographic. Let me show you how to do it from scratch. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. We'll create one prototype and then make two more copies to complete our slide. So let us jump right in. The first step is to draw the box. For that, let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From basic shapes, let us pick up this one called as Parallelogram and then draw the parallelogram like so. Then you go to arrange, rotate and say rotate right 90 degrees and then you can squish this a little, extend this a little so you can get one side of the box. Then let us press Ctrl D to create duplicate and then once again go to rotate and say flip horizontal and then match this height with the earlier one. Now we have got two sides of the box. Let us press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and place this so it corresponds with the other edge. Right click and send this to back. Third wall over. Then Ctrl D of this side and then place it in such a way that it corresponds with the other side and send it to back four sides over. Now let us fill color. Let us select this one. Go to shape fill and choose the top color here. Then go to this and this go to shape fill and choose the darkest hue of the same color and then select this back wall go to shape fill and choose the one color lighter than the darkest hue now we have got our shading done you can select everything go to shape outline and say no outline now the box is ready if you want to resize it you can press ctrl g to group it first and then hold the shift button down and then place it to one side then right click, go to group and ungroup it. The next step is to draw the ball inside which pops out revealing our first out of the box idea. Now if you have the time you can create a beautiful shiny ball. If you don't know how to do it, I've already created a tutorial on that. I will leave a link to that in the description box below the video and also on the iCard. For now I'm going to use a ready-made 3D ball which is available in pixabay.com. This looks really beautiful. When you search for ball under vector graphics in pixabay.com, you will get this. Go to free download and go to vector graphic or you can even take a simple PNG image and download it. Now let us go to show in folder. Then let us copy this and then go back to our slide and then paste it over here. Now we need to crop this in a circle. For that, let us go to crop. Go to crop to shape and say circle. Then crop. Aspect ratio 1 is to 1. So this is our circular crop. We are going to adjust these corners so it corresponds with the circle that we have here. You just need to make sure that the edges snugly fit in. Now we have cropped it just to our liking. Click outside and the ball can be used now. Let us hold the shift button down. Click and drag from the corner and the size is just right and I'm going to place it right in the middle. Now let me apply a simple motion path animation by going to animations, then go down, go to motion paths, choose lines and then from effect options say up and that is how the ball pops out of the box. Now we need to ensure that this ball is hidden. So let us select this wall, hold the shift button down and select this wall and then bring them forward. That's it. Now the ball is hidden inside the box. Now as it comes out, we want to reveal number one here. So let us go to home, pick up the text box tool and write number one here. And then let us choose a thicker font, increase the size ever so slightly and then place it over here. Now make sure that you're able to see where the motion path ends by going to animations and by selecting the ball you can see that this is where the motion path ends. We can always make sure that our number aligns with the exact place where the ball would end up after finishing the animation. Now 
I'm going to have this in white font color so it is not visible initially but only when the ball appears behind it. So let us right click on this number and then bring it to front. To see how this animation would work let us go to slideshow. On a click you can see that the ball comes up revealing our number one. Now all that is left for us to do is to write our text here. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the text box tool and write your sample text here and increase the size to 20 and then let us fold it to two lines and then let us place it over here and have it centrally aligned and make sure that it is properly aligned to the box. Now this needs to float in from the top while the previous animation happens. So let us have with previous. So the animation goes like this. On a click, we have this happening. Isn't that beautiful? Maybe we need to push this a little bit up. Yeah, perfect. Now we need to write our text here. Once again, let us go to home, go to the text box tool and let us write our first idea box or whatever that you want to write is perfectly up to you. Let us choose a thicker font and then let us fold this a little bit, increase the font size, have it centrally aligned and place it over here. Then we need to have this placed at a slanted angle. So it looks like it is a label on this box. So let us right click on this, go to format shape, go to text options, go to this one called as text effects, go to 3D rotation in the presets, click on the preset options and choose this one called as isometric right up. Now we need to make some adjustments so the angle is proper. Let us go to Y rotation and click on this down a few times. Now we have got it looking perfectly well. If you want, you can even increase the size a little bit, maybe like so. And let us place this over here. Our first idea box is ready. Now. We need to create the floor. For that, all you require is a simple rectangular bar like so. Then right click, send this to back, shape fill, use a light gray color, go to shape outline, no outline. If you want to have a 3D effect, you can always go to gradient and choose this option, which is linear down where it is darker here and lighter over here. If you want it lighter, you can always go to shape fill and choose a lighter option and do the same gradient fill like so. Now we need to have a bit of a shadow behind this box. Otherwise it looks a little artificial. So let us go to auto shapes gallery and you will see that in lines we have this one called as free form shape. Click on it and then draw a rough rectangle like so and then click at the starting point. Now this is the shape you want. Go to shape outline, no outline, go to shape fill and then choose a darker gray color and then go to the effects, go to soft edges, presets and choose some kind of a soft edge so it mimics the shadow. Increase the size a little bit and then place it somewhere over here and then right click, send this to back right click the floor and send this to back. Now that is our shadow. Now all of this looks beautiful. So let us select everything. One prototype is done. Hold the control button down, click and drag so you can place it right next to the previous one. The second box done. Hold the control button, click and drag. So we have the third box done. Now for this, let us select this color. Go to shape fill as we did before. We have the light orange color on the top. These two walls are going to be the darkest and this one is going to be the second darkest. Beautiful. You can always change this to second idea box and you can make your change to this as third idea box and so on. And that is how you complete the entire diagram. Now when I go to slideshow, this is how the final animation looks like. It's pretty beautiful. You can of course change these to number two and number three and those are simple details. Now talking about something coming out of a box, this is another example of using the same idea. Here we are pulling out a draw and then some information is coming out of the client. And these are templates taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. This is another example. Here is a box. Here one point comes out, the second one and the third one. 
Another way to play on the same idea is to show three surprises from the magic hat on a click. The first surprise comes out like this, the second one and the third one. So if you want an exciting alternative, you have this slide available. These templates are from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. The link is in the description box below the video. You can also watch another tutorial that I created a while back with a similar idea. It is called pop-out animation effect in PowerPoint 2013. Even though the version is 2013, the idea is still as useful. You can watch this video by clicking on the link right here. I will also leave a link to this in the description box below the video. Click on it, enjoy. And if you want to sign up to our 25 creative PowerPoint ideas free email course, you can click on the link on the screen. I'll see you in the next video.